Hello everyone, this is John, welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel, and today I'm going to be doing a review over the new Starry Zero Sugar, the new lemon lime soda from Pepsi. I'm going to be doing this review with a little more pizzazz than I typically do, because I'm going to be reviewing that versus four different types of diet zero sugar lemon soda one two three four and I have these cans because I'm going to pour these into them mix them up I won't know which one's which and hopefully I can tell you which one's best hopefully it's not Sierra Mist because that one is gone in the first corner see I have a number one in the bottom of this can as well number one on the bottom of this can and this is Sprite Zero Sugar. Let me read you a little bit about it. Zero calories of course, 35 milligrams of sodium, 2% that's 108 milligrams of potassium. We have carbonated water, citric acid, potassium citrate, natural flavors, potassium benzoate, aspartame, axelfem potassium, Zero sugar, zero caffeine. Can. can number two. We have can two and two right there. We have seven up zero sugar. This has 45 milligrams of sodium. Of course, no calories. 100 milligrams of potassium. Um, ingredients carbonated water, citric acid, potassium citrate, potassium benzoate. Aspartame, acetylene potassium, natural flavors, calcium to sodium, EDTA to protect flavor. In cup number three, we have none other than Sierra Mist Zero Sugar. Of course, this is no longer in production. Um, interesting fact this one says New York on the can because I bought this on eBay. Um, before everyone started really jacking the prices on these things. Uh, and in New York, apparently, the cans say New York on them. I never knew that. Never been to New York. And this has zero calories, 35 milligrams of sodium, no potassium. Uh, the ingredients are potassium, or not, no potassium. The ingredients are blah, 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 blah. carbonated water, citric acid, natural flavor, potassium citrate, aspartame. Potassium benzoate, acetylene potassium, ascorbic acid to protect flavor, calcium to sodium, ETA to protect flavor. And lastly, we have the newcomer, Starry. And this is the zero sugar variety of Starry. It has zero calories, 35 milligrams of, of sodium, 120 milligrams of potassium. Carbonated water, citric acid, natural flavor, potassium citrate, potassium benzoate, preserves freshness, aspartame, acetylene potassium, sucralose, ascorbic acid to protect flavor, and calcium to sodium EDTA. So, if I'm comparing them by ingredients, first of all, none of them contain any actual juice. As far as sodium, three of them have 35, one of them has 45, which is 7-Up. So 7-Up has 10 milligrams more of potassium, or of sodium. Will that make it taste more salty? I doubt it. Um, the only other thing that's listed in here is potassium. Sprite has 108, 7-Up has 100, Ceramus has none. And Starry has 120. So the most potassium is in Starry. And Sierra Mist, none. Will there be a difference there? Who knows? They all contain carbonated water. They all contain citric acid. Yep. And Sprite's the only one with the ingredients this way. So when I'm comparing them, so I don't have to move that way. Carbonated water and citric acid are the number ones for all of these things. 
natural flavor of natural flavor. 7-Up then moves to potassium citrate. And Sprite also goes to potassium citrate and then natural flavor. And 7-Up doesn't go to natural flavor, it goes to potassium benzoate, aspartame. The natural flavor is way down there. Uh, let's see what sweeteners we have. We have for Sprite, aspartame. For 7-Up, aspartame. For Sierra Mist, it is aspartame. And for Starry, it is aspartame, but it also has sucralose. Uh, there's a sorbic acid in Starry, and the sorbic acid is not in anything else. So there's the difference. Uh, I think they all have potassium benzoate in there. <laughs> 7-Up has potassium citrate and potassium benzoate. So does Sierra Mist. And Starry. Oh, Sprite has it too. It's just listed in a different order. Um, Axelfolmane potassium. Axelfolmane potassium. Yeah. So they, both, they all have basically the same ingredients. Seven uh, Sierra Mist has no potassium. There's a big difference. And for Seven Up, I believe this the natural flavor ingredient is much lower, so maybe it's less flavorful. That's another thing we'll have to look at and find out about this. Um, let's go ahead and pour them out. And then we'll go ahead and smell them and see if there's any difference in smells. Yeah. Um, the first thing we're going to do is pour them. So let's go ahead and start with number one, Sprite Zero Sugar. I'm not going to pour out the full can, just enough. And now, 7-Up Zero Sugar. Everything is transitioning from diet to zero sugar. I'm not sure if any of these also have a diet variety. I'm pretty sure Sprite at least used to have a diet variety. Um, Sierra Mist, let's see, I have that tab in front of me. Let's see if there was ever a diet. Let's see, there was Sierra Mist, Sierra Mist Zero, Sierra Mist Free. Uh, other different flavors, Sierra Mist with real sugar. Oh, and then there was a Diet Sierra Mist. So yeah, there was a Diet Sierra Mist, and there was a Di uh, Sierra Mist Zero Sugar. Diet Sierra Mist was from 2016 to 2018, and then Sierra Mist Zero Sugar took over in 2018 all the way to current. Uh, what was the difference? Diet Sierra Mist contains sucrose and sulfate potassium as artificial sweeteners. Formerly known as Diet Sierra Mist. Okay, so it looks like it was the same thing, actually. And for a minute, they called it Sierra Mist Free. It was a temporary name, which is Sierra Mist Zero. Now, Starry is, is one in a long line of... Pepsi lemon lime products. Uh, their first one, I believe, was called Team, T E E M, Team. Um, and it was introduced in 1959, 63 years ago, and discontinued in 1984. All these lemon sodas are caffeine free naturally there's no like a caffeine version and a caffeine free version they're all caffeine free now when team was discontinued in 1984 Pepsi was working on a different soft drink called storm which was supposed to be the replacement for team but it 
contained uh, caffeine, which was different than other lemon lime beverages at the time. Um, but it never made it out of its test run. Uh, and if you find one, it'll probably have a Star Wars Episode One Phantom Menace label on it because that was the year it came out and it was testing and it had that label on it. But it was only ever introduced in Denver, Omaha, San Francisco, Sacramento, Grass Valley, Las Vegas, Milwaukee, and Philadelphia. And Pepsi also had Slice, um, which was another lemon lime drink, but that kind of changed into an all-purpose fruit beverage, kind of like Crush. You can get Crush in different flavors, um, orange, grape, etc. Slice is the same way, but I think it did start as just like a lemon lime. And then in 1999, Sierra Mist came in production, and of course it was discontinued January 9th of 2023 to make room for starring. All right, so I have them all in front of me. Uh, the thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to just turn them around a few times. I'm going to try not to remember. That's why I'm talking while I'm doing this to kind of confuse my brain as to which one is which. Uh, I'll only know after I look at the numbers underneath this. Uh, and also one other bit of transparency here. I bought a 12 pack of each of these. I've tried each one twice within the last week. Um, never back to back. Uh, always multiple hours in between my trying. I didn't want to like be comparing them, but I wanted to taste them and see what I thought about each one of them individually uh, so I kind of be more prepared and to help me see like which one was which to begin with and to not give starry an unnecessary disadvantage to them definitely had the other three before as well all right so i think they're sufficiently moved around i still have the cans in back of here lined up one two three four but hopefully they're not lined up one two three four here or maybe they are the the real important thing is i don't know which one is which so the first thing I'm going to do is sip a little water, clear in the mouth palate. I have a cup of coffee beans. If you've ever been to a store that sells cologne, they frequently have a little cup of coffee beans, because that's how you're supposed to be able to cleanse your nose palate, I guess. All right. We're going to start left to right. We'll taste them. Uh, actually, first I'm going to smell them each without tasting them, and we'll tell you which one I think smells the best. Uh, and then I will taste them, see which one I think tastes the best, which one is overall my favorite. All right, the first one, make sure I don't expose the number on the bottom while I drink this, because I can't see the camera, so I don't want to tip it over and actually see that number. Here we go. Smelling only. Sweet, classic lemon lime smell to it. I mean, my mind immediately went to that was Sprite, so I think that one might be Sprite. Nose palette. Number two. The only, the only thing is here is I can see the carbonation level of each one of these. And they all look relatively the same except for this one. Um, I wouldn't say it has no bubbles, but it has considered less bubbles and smaller bubbles. In between these three. I would say these two are more carbonated than this one, but this one's still pretty carbonated. Anyway, back to Can number two. Mm, this one has a more unnatural smell. 
Whereas the first one smells more lemony and limey, this one smells just like citric acidy. This one smells more sweet. I'm going to have to say that this one is the Sierra Mist, if I'm guessing. Okay, number three. This one is the one that looks the least bubbly. This one has the least smell overall. There is some lemon lime smells in there, but it's just not very smelly at all. This one also, this one might be the same as the other, the other one might be starry, maybe. Mm, I said that one was Sprite. So this one was Sierra Mist. I'll say this one is seven up. Anyway, last one. First one. Hmm. This one smells more limey than lemon, but there still is a mix of lemon and lime. This one I'm gonna say is the starry one. I'm almost worried that when I move these around, I move them right back into one, two, three, four order. And that would be fine. All right, well, time for testing the taste. Number one. It's a very classic flavor I'm used to. That's why I'm still thinking that might be Sprite. It might also be 7 up. Number 2. From the left to right. This one definitely tastes more artificial. Just like it smelled, it tasted more artificial. That's four for that sake. I hope that one was Sierra Mist. It might be setting up. I'm not sure. We'll say it's setting up. Next one. Least amount of fizz, bubbles, least amount of smell, least amount of flavor. I think this one is the Sierra Mist. I'm hoping that was a Sierra Mist because I'm hoping of, of all of them, this is the one that is gone. And last one. That one smells better than it tastes. That's what I thought. Smelled more limey than lemony. Okay. So I th still think that's starry. Somehow I think I went I went right back to one, two, three, four. I think we're going Sprite, seven up, Serum and Starry. 
you saw me mix it up. Perhaps I somehow mixed it right back into one, two, three, four. But as for which one I think tastes the best and smells the best, I'm going to have to go with the first one. It has a classic taste, smell. Even though it's diet, it still tastes pretty sweet. This one is good old number one, and that was Sprite Zero Sugar. Now, for my second one, I'm going to go with the last one, which I think number four, I think it's going to say four. I think this is Starry. Let's taste it. That was number four. That was Starry. Um, the biggest difference between Sprite and Starry. This one seems more lemon lime. The Starry seems more lime lemon. But they're both pretty good. Next up, we we'll have to go with the second one. Um, the main difference between two and three here is this one seemed like it had less smell, less carbonation, and overall less flavor. So even though this one had more citric acid flavor than like an actual lemon flavor, um, it actually had flavor and carbonation. So I'm thinking this is 7-Up. You wouldn't believe it. That's seven up, which means the worst one, which I'm happy for, number three. Flavorless, scentless, less carbonation altogether. The Sierra Mist, zero sugar. And this can. Let's see, does it have a best buy date on it? 020908C4CO22. Does that mean anything? January 23rd, 23. Today is January 23rd, 23, actually. Today is the expiration date for this can. So technically, today is its best buy date. So it shouldn't really be lacking anything because it's age. Maybe since it was one of the last runs, they stopped caring as much about the flavor. I don't know. It's definitely the worst, but in my opinion, going forward, Sprite Zero Sugar is going to be my number one. I'm in line somewhere. And you know, Starry is not bad. And I guess the bit, like I said before, the bit difference is lemon lime, lime lemon, 7 up, not as good as either of them. <laughs> and Sierra Mist is by far the worst. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in a review where someone tests out all the full sugar varieties, Please go ahead and look up Poppy Eats. He did a lime or a lemon lime soda taste test, and he tried Starry Sprite Sierra Mist and Seven Up in their full sugar varieties. Uh, when I saw that, that was kind of a part of the inspiration for me to try this, but with the added twist that I'm trying out the zero sugar varieties. Let me know in the comment section below if, if you've tried all four of these, which you one you think is the best. And what is your go-to diet version of lemon lime soda? Anyway, we'll see you on the next one. Like, share, subscribe. Goodbye.